I'm Tevlev, this is Tin Gaming, and I'm back with another custom stage video. Now, if you've ever played on custom stages, you might have seen these really thin platform-like things that you can pass through. That's called a backslash, and that's what this video is about. I've talked about it before, but I don't have a standalone video where I explain it all. So I'm going to explain it here, how to do it, and what its functions are. This will be similar to that fixed platform uh, video I did a little bit ago. Making it's really easy, uh, and you'll see why it's called the backslash. I guess you could also call it a forward slash, too. Uh, but you can just go here. It doesn't really matter where you put it. Like, uh, you can do this. You can make it like that. You can make it, uh, like this. And then go all the way over here. And then you just shrink it as small as it goes. And now, you won't be able to touch that. Uh, and you also don't need to make it that small, like, for example, this is shorter than the other one. But if you just do this, as long as it's really thin, you should, should be able to go through it. Just like this. Making it very simple. In my opinion, this is the best trick in Stage Builder. Maybe besides fixed platforms, which are kind of more essential at this point. Uh, but I really like this one because they just have a lot of potential. You can do a lot with it. I'll show you a little bit of what they can do. Here's one with the water effect. Uh, actually, I used two um, backslashes here. There's the, the sponge one, the blue, and then the purple on top. The, it just sort of gives it like more of an effect like like that's in Mario Sunshine, I guess. And this one, uh, this, it's pretty self-explanatory what the hazard is, but that minecart comes in, and if you land on top of it or get hit from the top of it, it'll probably kill you. So you can't stand on this metal because I think it would just be like a walk-off stage. I think if you could, it would just... Be kind of a mess and it would also if you could stand over here it'll mess with the spawning not that anyone could really do that this is more of what i go into in the original video where i mentioned the backslash where it's used for hazards that can be basically put on a timer so when this touches this platform it's going to respawn the minecart and backslash down here with the water all right and now in this roller coaster tycoon stage uh it has this um lift car thing it keeps all these parts together uh the, the platform and these two triangle buckets the triangle buckets i i can explain in a future video because those are more complicated but yeah and then this is the l trick also and you can see this there's a thin line in the back here too which is actually not a backslash because stage builder objects will collide with the backslash so this is actually an l trick um and you know what i'll show you how to do an l trick too but it's really just the the prototype version of the backslash, really. Okay, you start here, you basically just make, guess what, an L. And this one you're gonna wanna do like right here. This is also uh, normal blast zones, by the way, but if it doesn't really matter, you just, it doesn't matter what the blast zones are, you can do, just do that. You just squish it, and then there you go. Simple as that. The reason backslashes are typically better is because um, they don't have this little little foot there but they're basically the same like you know characters aren't going to interact with it but you can interact with that because people used to put like when they'd have like a water effect they would put this down there but then you would still be able to stand over there especially if it was flipped around but it can go through uh, other objects backslash can't do that that's how I did like the rising water effect in the Lockjaw's locker stage. And lastly, uh, this is another use of it. Um, incomplete stage, but uh, basically this is sort of the hazard. This is based on the Ganondorf fight from Ocarina of Time. In that stage, the, the platforms fall down, so that's kind of what happens here. These will fall in time. And it's also slanted in a specific way, so it does that you know where it's sort of there's a tell that it's gonna fall and then it'll do it with the next one and then there it goes see pretty simple but you know a lot of people ask how that trick is done and that's how it's done there's a stage builder guide that's a google document in the description and if you need help at all you can also join the discord thank you again and goodbye <laughs>